Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Lucy Dreaming. We've been exploring the town centre and we found this statue here with a vending machine on it, but we need a token from the old Disneyland theme park. Gotta be careful how I say that, um, to open this thing up and get whatever goodies are waiting inside. We don't have one though. All we've got is this penny, which I don't know if we're going to run into one of those like coin pressing machines or something, but maybe that's going to be involved in some way. We'll find out later. For now, I want to investigate um, the pub here, the ferret's head and this um, the charity shop. So let's go into the pub first. It's not open yet. Oh, it's not open. We won't go into the pub. <laughs> go into the charity shop. Ooh, look at this place. Ah. <gasps> Look at that action figure. That is from Intruder in Anticonia. The label says Made in Anticonia. That's pretty cool. Can we take that? I'd rather play the video game it came from. Ah, nice touch, nice touch. There's also a purple tentacle jig jigsaw puzzle up here. Oh look, a tentacle. What a surprise. <laughs> nice. Hold all handbag, collection tin. Uh, oh god, a metal Protect detector. Protect our weasels. The Iron Maiden Deluxe Heavy Metal Detector. Oh, nice. Bring your quarters to the slaughter, or double your nickel back. <laughs> it's yours if you want to make a donation. Ah. C can we get that? Hey, come on. At least make a donation first. Sorry. Right. Uh, maybe we just make a donation with the penny? Okay. For the weasels. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Please help yourself to a piece of useless crap. I mean, pre-loved item from the bucket. <laughs> oh, I see in the bucket. Right, we're on the metal detector. We don't want heavy and whatever. Leonardo? Is that one of the Ninja Turtles? I can't really see. Three from random object. Yes, please. That's got to be more important than these other things, right? We've got some key rings. Supporting weasels from the comfort of your pocket. All right. Idol. Looks like a solid gold fertility idol to me. Nice. The tag says three pounds. Right. I thought it would be lighter than that. <laughs> Very good. Uh, games console, stained wedding dress, all sorts of clothes. God, there's a lot of stuff here, isn't there? Lava lamp, bear, mug, robin. God, there's all sorts of crap. A puzzled cube, <laughs> a plant from Mario. There's a lot. Let's talk to this guy anyway. Uh, nice cap. Nice cap. Thanks. It's made of genuine fake weasel fur. <laughs> All right. Do you really love weasels? Do you really love weasels? No, but volunteering looks good on my CV. Fair. What's the map on the wall? What's the oh, map yeah. on the wall? We use it to plot weasel-related incidents in the local area. Uh, what kind of weasel incidents? What kind of weasel incidents? It used to just be the odd bit of roadkill or accidental stampings. But recently, we've been seeing a more creative approach. Uh. Everything from garrote wire to landmines. You wouldn't know anything about it, would you? I'm sure I don't know what you mean. Yeah. Nothing that to do with that. That was a suspiciously evasive response. <laughs> I mean, it's possible our brother's involved, though. Anything new? No, none of it's new. <laughs> Although we have got a nice bucket of odds and sods by the counter. Oh, yeah. All right, cool. Bye. Bye. See ya. We already looked in there. Let's have a look at this map. Weasel attacks. It's an old promotional map showing the location of the theme park. Oh. Looks like when it was demolished, our house was built on top of it. Oh. Unsurprisingly, that's where the weasels are having a bad time at the hands of my mother. Oh, so our house is built on top of the old Disneyland plot. So that gives me an idea. Let's head back to our house and try out our new metal detector because maybe we can find one of the tokens. Uh, let's give it a go. It can detect different metals and depths. Oh, Iron Maiden Deluxe, nice. Uh, so, iron, nickel, gold or brass, and depth by years. Hmm, okay. Slightly more complicated than I thought it might be. So let's see if we can get a rough idea by this statue. Let's have a look. Uh, look at the plaque. Fergus Fig. This monument was erected to commemorate the founder of Figgington's first and only tourist attraction, Disneyland. This vending machine was relocated from the theme park before the site was redeveloped into one of Figgington's enviable housing estates. The statue depicts Fergus Fig at the moment of his dignified demise, headless and dressed as a ferret. 
This machine must be 10 years old now. Right, 10 years old. What's this thing? Vend for yourself. <laughs> this machine is calibrated to accept 10 gram nickel theme park tokens there we go. only. Well, that's just brilliant. Nickel. I bet they're all long gone and buried with the theme park itself. Yeah. <laughs> we actually figured that out without reading that, so that was nice. I thought we would maybe have to look in here to figure out what the, the coins were. So, nickel from about 10 years ago. Nice. That is perfect. That could not have gone any more conveniently, could it? Let's use this thing. So we want nickel, and we want it to be about five to ten years old, I guess. Start. All right, there's something here. Oh, it's an old token from the theme park. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> can we, can we dig anywhere else nearby? find anything else here. I, I wonder if that is the exact hot spot that you have to dig out or whether it will just happen anywhere around here. I honestly don't know. If any of you guys have played this game, let me know down in the comments. Be interested to know if it just detects it automatically. I don't think I'm going to find anything else here. No, but we have still got the metal detector, which makes me think it might have another use later on, especially with all those settings. Right, let's head back and we will go to the town centre. We'll head over here. I wonder when the pub, the pub's going to open. Probably in the afternoon or the night time, right? Uh, let's use our new token. And we'll see what we get out of this machine. I wonder if it still works. Probably. Well, it doesn't look like it'd be plugged in. What do I know? I guess that answers that question. What is that? A duck toy? Let's grab that. It'd be a crime not to. Right, a... It's a cute and cuddly fuzzy duck toy. It reminds me of the bread ravaging ducklings I used to feed in the park. <laughs> I swear they could smell the bread from a mile away. Yeah, I think they can. Right, I'm not sure what that's going to be for, but we've got it. <laughs> uh, let's go to the village fate next. We haven't been here yet. Looks like they've managed to install localised rain for this year's event. That's pretty that's cool. That's considerate. Yeah, it's got a rain at a village fate. Goosey wallop. I love this game. Yeah, I've been waiting to play this game for a long time. Let's talk to the steward. Because apparently this is an actual thing. Hello there. Hello there. Hey up. Fancy a wallop. Uh, how much? How much is it for a wallop? One shiny brass pound for three wallops. Oh, what? We haven't got any pounds. I don't have any money. Then I suppose you need to find some if you want a wallop a goose anytime oh. soon. Ah. Bye. Come back if you fancy a wallop. I wanted to do Goosey Wallop, but we're going to have to wait till later, obviously. Oh, jam. Finnington WI Annual Jam Making Competition. Okay. Let's go in here. Oh, look at all this. Nice flowers. Trumpets for bees. <laughs> These were picked locally. You can... Oh, Nothing skip that. says, I love you like a fistful of prickly dying organisms. That's one way to look at it. <laughs> Okay, we've got a doily, a knitted abomination, a rubber band ball. It's a big chair here. I wonder what this is for. Reserved for Miss Holly Room. Ah, okay. Oh, here's the vicar. Let's talk to the vicar. Hello, vicar. Hello, vicar. Oh, hello there. You startled me. I've had a terrible headache recently. Huh. I think it's probably due to the church bells. Okay. Uh, there's a gang of tits stealing your congregation's stuff. There's a gang of tits stealing your congregation's stuff. Sadly, I know. Unfortunately, there's not a lot we can do. But if you ring the large bell, their ill-gotten gains will fall off the roof. Ah. Thanks. I really could have done with that advice yeah. earlier. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that's a hint if you hadn't figured it out already. Can you tell me anything about the Fig Brothers? Can you tell me anything about the Fig Brothers? The Figs? Yes. Well, one of the Fig Twins was a lovely, quiet fellow. Wait, they were twins too? Oh yes, I christened them both on the same day. Horatio, on the other hand, was a bit unstable. Yeah, we heard. Yeah, I'm getting that impression. But I'm not here to talk about work. I have jam to inspect. Ah, okay. You're inspecting jam? You're inspecting jam. That's right. I'm judging these preserves to find a winner. 
Good for you. There are prizes? There are prizes for jab. Oh, yes. What's the prize? Only an audience with TV baking legend Paula Holyrood. Ah. And a signed copy of her new book, <gasps> Bread is Breast. <laughs> <laughs> I mean best. <laughs> are you okay? Oh, yes. I'm a huge fan of her. B -b 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 -bre Bread? Mm, that too. That wow. Sounds like just the kind of inspiration I need. It does. So we're going to have to make jam, right? What do you have to do to win the jam competition? What do you have to do to win the jam competition? Anyone can enter. You just need to bring a jar with sweet flavour, vibrant colour, and perfectly preserved fruit. Ah, okay. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. So we're going to have to make jam. We've got a glass of water. Maybe we can use that, or maybe we can use this glass thing here um, to make our own jet. We could maybe use the goal pole, because that's vibrant and, and sweet, right? But it doesn't have fruit in it, so we might have to find some fruit. So, ew, why is there... That doesn't like cake. Figgington Plops, a local speciality. Fly is hanging around that. All right, so we're going to have to win the prize to talk to the the um, baking lady, right? A tardis of filth. <laughs> Can we go in there? I don't need to go. No, we don't need to go. Police tent. Whoa, look at this. Seized property. What kind of crimes involve a cup of tea? You've obviously never been around when someone puts the milk in first. <laughs> monsters. Absolute monsters. Assorted case files. Uh, no touching. What's this? If you want to see inside it, you'll have to bid for it. Oh, we don't want to bid. It's a pirating video game about pirates. <laughs> nice. Perfect for police interviews. So there's an auction going on. Computer, seized properties. There's the tits. Look. Let's have a look at this. Looks like there are only a couple of items left. Okay. What, what, what are they? Looks like there are only a couple of items left. Okay, it's not going to tell us. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> How does the auction work? How does this auction work? Just take a seat when you're ready and start bidding. Minimum bid is a pound, though. Ah, uh, we don't have a pound. Bye. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Looks like money is crucial for this place and we don't have any of it. Throwing it's game. It's a cheap knockoff of another game. <laughs> Chuck the plant. Can we, can we have a go at that? I'd rather not. The plants look like they've been through enough already. Okay, can we... I don't fancy playing this one. What's this one? Candy floss. Mmm, sweet clouds. Everyone loves candy floss. I don't have any money. Right. Maybe we have to put candy floss in the jam as well. That could be a thing, right? Uh, let's have a look. Win book with some prize winning jam. We can do that. So, we've got to try and figure out this visitor's pass. How do we make jam? That is the question. That seems to be our next goal, maybe, right? Making jam. We don't have a kitchen to make jam, though, do we? Uh, the church... Fig hall... No, we don't. Can we, can we get... We can't get into the kitchen yet, can we? I think it's still out of action after last week's incident. Hmm, okay. Can we, like... That doesn't need any painkillers. No, okay. We don't have any... It's great for preserving. Oh, preserving. Okay. Can we... I need to combine them in something. Right, so we obviously need the formaldehyde and the goal pole, but we need some sort of container to put them in. Like a glass jar? I'm trying to think if we've seen a glass jar anywhere. There's a jar here. It's got white spirit in it, though. No, it smells horrible. Hmm, okay. Have we seen any glass jars anywhere? I'm trying to think. Uh, I don't think that's a jar, is it? Let's try upstairs. Any glass jars anywhere? Uh, any glass jars? No, we do have this mug. I don't want any cold tea. No, okay. Hmm. Nothing there. Is there a glass jar in here? I mean, that's a big jar-looking thing. Try picking that up, I guess. I don't need it. Can we like make it in the sink? Is it one of those things like when you're a kid, you used to pour everything in the sink? 
that doesn't need to be preserved. No. Okay. Or maybe we just have to do it this way around. I need to combine them in something. Okay, no. Um, we can't put this in here, right? That doesn't need to be preserved. Can we chuck the water away? Ah. <gasps> it's empty now. We can! Nice. Okay. So we did have the jar. I need to find something with a lid. Oh, no, we can't. All right, we need something with a lid then. I thought that was going to be it, but it's not. Right, something with a lid. Hmm, okay. don't think there's going to be anything down here. Anything this way? No. All right, must not be here then. Let's think. Where have we seen anything with a lid? Is there anything in the in the shop? Any like jars? I mean there's milk and things. Hmm. I don't know. Well, I'll tell you what, guys, we're out of time anyway, so we'll try and figure out where to get a jar in the next episode. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Tumbly Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldrich Hobo, and Numinous, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>